Today, I'll be proving that there are infinitely many prime numbers that are three more than a multiple of four. Okay, so some examples of prime numbers that are three more than a multiple of four. We have three, we have seven, we have 11, we have 19, we have 23, and so on. All these numbers are three more than a multiple of four. And the question is, how can we prove there are infinitely many of these numbers? What we'll do is a proof by contradiction, where we assume that there are only finite the many of these primes. Since there are only finitely many, which we've assumed for the sake of contradiction, we can list them all out as P1, P2, P3, and so on up to Pn. Okay. Now I will consider the num consider that the number m equals four times p1 p2 dot 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 times pn minus one. Okay, what we can see is this number is divisible by all the numbers from p1 to pn. So ignoring the minus one over here, uh, just the number four times P1 times P2 times dot, dot, dot times Pn is divisible by all the primes form from P1 to Pn. However, when we subtract one, the number M will not be divisible by any of the prime numbers from P1 to Pn. Because we've subtracted one from a number that is a multiple of all the primes from P1 to Pn. So this number M must be divisible by prime numbers. All the, all the prime numbers that divide M cannot be found from P1, P2 up to Pn. However, since we've assumed that the numbers P1, P2 up to Pn are the list of all the prime numbers that are three more than a multiple of four. It means all prime factors of M are not of the form. So using modular arithmetic tech, uh, terminology, we have three modulo four. The all prime factors of M are not of the form three modulo four. Okay, we can also see the only prime number that is even is two. However, since M is one less than a multiple of four, two is not a factor of M, which means the prime factors of M must be odd numbers that are not of the form three mod four. So all prime factors must be of the form one mod four. So all prime factors of M are of the form one mod four. However, if we multiply numbers of the form one mod four, If we multiply a group of numbers of the form one mod four, we still end up with a number, a number 
of the form 114. And the reason for this is if we take one to the power of any number k in mod in modulo four, we still get one mod four. So if we keep on multiplying numbers that are one mod four, we'll still end up with a number that is one mod four. Okay. So now since M is going to be the product of its prime factors, it means M is the product of prime numbers that are one mod four. And it follows that M must be congruent to one mod four. However, this is a contradiction because M is one less than a multiple of four. So actually, M must be congruent, congruent to three mod four. This is a contradiction. And the contradiction stems from our initial assumption that there are only finitely many primes that are three more than a multiple of four. Since this initial assumption was wrong, it turns out there are infinitely many primes that are three mod four. That's the same as saying three more than a multiple of four. Okay, so this concludes our proof by contradiction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.